Hello everyone, what's up? In today's video we will see how to use masking putty and chipping fluid in order to apply a weathered or out camo scheme to any vehicle. Whether you are a wargamer or a scale modeler, if you want to learn more about weathering, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Here is the masking putty, in this case from Model Bau Koenig, a German specialized store. As you can see, the putty is a glossy black and it sits flat on the interior of the tin. It is rather rigid straight out of the tin, but as soon as you knead it, it will soften up and become a bit more like plasticine. You can easily cut it with scissors or with a knife. You can also stretch it almost infinitely, a bit like melted cheese. If you pull it quickly, it will snap. The main advantage of masking putty is that it quickly settles down, conforming to the shape of whichever surface you apply it to. Here I am beginning the little sausages of putty that I have made for the lemon roast tank. As some of you may have guessed already, I looked at some reference pictures of World War II German tanks in order to get a rough idea of how the stripes might look. In any case, it's very easy to make adjustments on the fly, reshaping the putty as you see fit, or even changing its location. In fact, I removed and reapplied the putty three times until I was happy. No harm, no foul. Now I'm applying ammo worn effects with my trusty Badger Patriot airbrush. This product is also known as chipping fluid. This is not terribly exciting, so I'm not showing you all of the footage. Just make sure to give it two nice coats letting it dry in between one coat and the next. So, without further ado, let's start with the camo itself. This is German Red Brown, also known as Rot Brown also from Ammo of MIG. It's a regular water-based acrylic, unlike the Tamiya paints that I normally use. I'm trying to be relatively neat, the main thing really is that you apply the camo color at a 90 degree angle to the surface being painted, or as close to that as possible. Now 
Now I'm coming in with the green, again trying to avoid any major disasters with either over or under spray. Curiously enough, this paint is known by the highly original name of Camo Green. I actually started using a different green, but it was far too light and there just wasn't enough contrast, so I decided to switch to this one, even though theoretically it's a Luftwaffe color. As you can see, even though I'm not very good at airbrushing, the mask and putty made this a quick and easy job. But will the results be good enough? Let's see! Now we get to the exciting part, removing the putty. It was with some trepidation that I did this, since it wasn't that long ago that I had a bit of a disaster with Camo putty. In this case, however, everything went according to plan. Nice and easy. Here you can see how I rolled all the putty together and started kneading it again. After a few moments, the putty had absorbed all the paint. There was no trace of paint anymore and the putty was as good as new. I've used this particular putty for many different jobs, it's about two years old now, and it's just like the first day. Since I like my tanks heavily weathered, as you probably know by now, the camo stripes also have to be worn, hence the chipping fluid. First I'm applying some water and letting it sit for a couple of minutes. Then I'm applying friction with a flat brush and as you can see the camo is worn, revealing not only the dark yellow base coat but also the chips that this had. In other words, we have layered our chipping, which is the effect that I wanted to create. I'm quite happy with how the camo turned out and in particular with the different layers of chipping present in the vehicle. If you want to see how I went about other aspects of this project, such as the decals, the pin wash or the tracks, make sure not to miss the next few videos. If you want to know why I switched to acrylics for my camo colors, click on the video on the left. And if you want to have a look at my whole weathering process, check out the one on the right. Thank you all, and remember, keep it up and weather it out.